Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check a fresh kit from Tamiya. As usual you can find detailed review article link in the video description below. And this is a type 10 tank from the JGSDF. It is smaller than 148 scale but as you can guess it's based on the 135 scale kit from Tamiya. And this is a quite fresh model, so it's just interesting to see what's inside. As you can see, we have here a short list of all features. There is a figurine and also two marking options. And of course, metal weights are included. It's just traditional feature for 48 scale keys from Tamiya. Here you can see one of the marking options. And here is another one as far as you can guess. This is a top opening box, so just give me a second to open it. And here is what we have inside. So assembly manual and background information are on the top. So let's check them first. Here is a small brochure with background information. As you can see we have some explanation for the tank parts. Short history note and here we have marking guide for marking options which are featured in this kit. Mm, it's quite a pity that it's printed in color, but we have what we have. Uh, here is assembly manual. This one is also typical for Tamiya. So here we have some safety advices, paint chart. Then assembly process starts with lower hull half. We add metal weights and then suspension and tracks and some other parts. So in total you will have to perform like 17, actually 20 steps in order to get complete tank. And here we have painting advices, what you have to use and how you should do the camouflage on this tank. So each plastic sprue is packed into a separate plastic bag. As you can see it's not sealed, it's uh, stapled with paper clips. So just give me a second to open it. Um, all plastic frames are molded out of dark green plastic, which is also familiar by some Tamiya kits in the same scale, so I think it won't be surprising for experienced modelers. And just give me a second to clean those paper clips because they're really annoying. So here we have first plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to external elements, of course, because there is no interior in this kit. I can zoom camera so that I can check them closer. Here we have towing cable. Note that it's molded as a one-piece plastic part and it's attached on one, two, three, four attachment points, which you will have to be you, know, you will have to carefully cut and then attach it on the model. Here we have rear basket for the turret, which should be also easy to assemble. As you can see, there is no PE parts. Uh, solution so you just use these plastic parts you combine them together and you get a final nice appearance next we have large plastic sprue again I need a bit of time in order to open it and remove paper clips actually this one should be faster okay as you saw uh, we have here turret parts here they are, two of those. Also we have lower hull half parts, turret sides, uh, rear armor wall for the hull. Here we have tankman parts and main gun is molded as one piece part. Which is actually nice so that you won't have to deal with seams. And note the attachment points, they are placed from both ends so you won't have to send anything on this model. Actually the top turret part features really nice detailing of those anti-slip surfaces and other stuff so it should look good after careful painting and I want to show you the tankman I can even zoom camera this is a 148 scale figurine so don't expect a lot but it seems to be fine for such small size I would say now let's zoom out the camera and we can turn our attention to the next plastic sprue this one is dedicated to really big parts, even though this is a 148 scale, assembled model should be quite impressive in size, I would say, especially for this scale. Because real tank is so 
nothing surprising I would say for experienced modellers but for me it is. Here is uh, this plastic frame which I was talking about. So we have top hull half, bottom hull half and side skirts which are molded together with those rubber parts. Note that front rubber parts are molded as separate pieces. Now we can zoom in and check the tailing of the top hull half. As you can see it looks quite nice but I have no doubt that there will be some P upgrade which will enhance appearance with P meshes and other typical stuff which we are used to see on aftermarket kits. Next plastic sprues are packed together into the same plastic bag. As you can guess they are dedicated to suspension parts and just give me a second to unwrap them and we will check them closer. Also here I can see track parts. I will show you only one frame because they are absolutely identical. So here they are. Uh, these are special brackets for metal weights. It will be up to you if you want to use them or not. And I want to take a closer look on track parts. As you can see they are quite detailed. And after some careful painting you can get really an appealing design uh, appearance I would say. Here you can see drive sprockets and road wheels which should be assembled out of several parts. And last but not the least is a separate plastic bag with decal sheet. Just give me a second to remove it out of the bag. So here it is. It is printed by Tamiya itself. Printing quality is more or less good. Maybe they will be a bit thick, what is typical for Tamiya, but I hope application won't be problematic. And of course, last but not the least, I won't remove it out of the box, but here you can see metal weights which should be used in the model if you want to have some really serious weight of the assembled tank. So that's all for this video review, I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can find detailed review article link in the video description below. I will be happy to hear your opinion, just leave it also below in the comment section. And of course, if you want to help us, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video as usual. Bye!